Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here today playing some D series off road driving simulator. It's a game all about racing some uh, some rather ridiculous off road vehicles. Now this game currently it doesn't it's not, not categorized as early access in Steam, but it's a very much a game that's that's in development uh, as as it goes along. And I'm okay with that. You know, games are very expensive things to make, and unless it's made by a very big studio that has a lot of money to uh, sort of pour into it with no return initially I don't have a problem with uh, with early access games of course you know there are the odd problems with ones that uh, don't get finished and so on uh, but um, yeah I don't mind supporting some some lesser some smaller developers and so on with uh, with games like this and it's I think it's 14 quid uh, at the moment, and there's still, you know, you can still have plenty of fun with this game, even at the very early stage that it is in at the moment. So the cars that we have to choose from, we have these little um, cart things. They're they're really rather interesting, <laughs> little crazy thing. I think they're basically sort of motorbike and go kart engines stuck into a tiny little off roady thing, and then you can go and race it around some tracks. We go up to your bigger stadium trucks. So you got a rear wheel drive one and a four-wheel drive one with some 800 horsepower, yeah. <laughs> Lots of power in them thing. And then we have uh, essentially a rallycross Ford Fiesta. Uh, now, I'm going to start with these little uh, these little carts. I really like these vehicles. These are fantastic. I would love to race these in real life. They look like so much fun. These uh, <laughs> these crazy things. We're going to go with a slightly faster of the two. I'll show off some, some various different tracks. Uh, one of the things I'm most pleased about, look at the color scheme. We have all of the right colors and everything. Uh, on this vehicle. Uh, to start with, there is a selection of is it six tracks. Yeah, six tracks. So we have some some larger, more sweeping outdoor circuits. There's some tighter ones. There's this indoor one, which is what we're going to go to first. Uh, there's a this is a much more open, uh, flowing circuit. And then there's a couple. I'm not sure if that one there is. This one here is just sort of like a, an area you can go and explore and so on. We're going to start with the uh, the indoor stadium, and we're going to go for a drive. Loading times are really good. <laughs> I'm pleased to say you don't sit around loading for uh, for too long. So you spawn in, you're in your little your little tra trailery bit. Um, right, shall we uh, shall we get going? And here we go. We are at the uh, the first of the race tracks. Now this is supposed to be an off roading an off roading simulator game, and there is a mode. Oh, or shall we say when you go first fire up the game, there are two options with sort of like the way you could fire it up. There's a special mode for if you're using a force feedback steering wheel. It's very much designed this for you to use steering wheel pedals and have a, have the full force feedback effect. You can use a controller and so on. It, there, it, it perfectly works with one. It's just a lot more fun with a steering wheel. And I have to say, the, fir <laughs> the first thing that they've got right about this game is the uh, the feel. Oh dear, we've had an incident. Uh, <laughs> the feel of the vehicles, it's very good fun to drive. The steering wheel... Uh, <laughs> The, the field feedback is incredible. The steering wheel jumps around as you would expect. I mean, you would expect to be fighting these off-road vehicles around courses like this. You go over bumps and jumps and crests and whatever else the course may have to throw at you. It's a very, very good, uh, very good steering system if you like. It feels. I, I, I've never driven one of these. I've never driven off-road in a, a sort of. Uh, scenario like this but it feels kind of as I would expect it and it's it's oh dear we're gonna point backwards are we well <laughs> I'm not excellent at this game I'll be I'll be honest I'm not particularly I spent as much time pointing backwards I think as I have uh, pointing forwards but it's it's just a fun thing just to try and get to grips with the uh, get to grips with the vehicles as we go for <laughs> Another lap of uh, of this circuit. I mean, the the tracks themselves are all are all challenging. You know, we've got some big jumps over. They actually flew really nicely for once. I normally end up face planting it uh, into the floor, but uh, that time round, oh, we actually got the uh, got the jump fairly well. You know, it's going to take a while. Oh, we've gone really wrong there. Ah, we, I see an escape route. We're back on the track. It's fine. It takes a while to get used to vehicles, but that's that's half the challenge, half the fun with these games. You know, you've got to get used to. To different vehicles, to uh, to different challenges, and so there are the occasional graphical glitch uh, going around. You'll notice a couple of signposts occasionally, uh, getting confused by a wall. Uh, I think there's one over here as well that flickers around. There's in some of the big outdoor arenas I may go to. Ooh, not again! Pissing bump. Got to take a wider line. <laughs> 
<laughs> you've got to sort of adjust lines and so on to deal with buzz. And again, that's what you would expect with uh, with off-road driving. You've got to kind of adjust that sort of thing to, to avoid the larger bumps and so on. Yeah, there is the occasional graphical glitch, but um, all the obstacles in here are movable, if you like. These things here, they're not solid. You can... I think I may have jumped over the first one, but uh, if you crash into them, you push them around. You can redecorate the track as as you. Oops, can we get going again? Uh, as you like. Now there isn't any AI at the moment. If we click on the uh, the start race button up here, this is all about. It's essentially a time trial. I've got to get six laps in as quick a time as possible. We're going to go with our our little cart thing in here. Try and go as quickly as possible. I like, <laughs> it's just little details, like we've got to do the staging bit here. You've got to pull up to the line and if you go too far forward, you get told off and then you have to back it up otherwise you get a time penalty. Uh, right, yeah, six laps. We'll go four and uh, try and get as fast a lap time, uh, or as, as fast a sort of overall time as, uh, as possible, which means no spinning. No spinning on the on the jumps and uh, and so on. As I said, this is as uh, as much. There is sort of a, whoop, we've clonked a thing on the inside. It's already got a little bit wrong. There's leaderboards for you to uh, to compare times. There isn't any AI at the moment. But imagine if there was. Uh, oh no, we're having all sorts of problems. Imagine if there were 12, 16 of these little carts running around in here. That's kind of. I kind of see this game with lots and lots of potential. Basically, that's often the case with some of these these early access games. It's not quite there, but I see lots of potential for for this game. Because having all of these, having loads of these vehicles racing around in this sort of confined space, bumping and barging over the bumps and probably moving half of the barriers and getting in trouble and so on, uh, would be very good fun. Because nothing's really done it that much before. There was... God, was it Dirt 2? I think Dirt 1 Dirt 2. They had sort of the, the stadium trucks uh, and so on. But aside from that, there's certainly I don't think anything's done it really with any sort of realism with the, the steering and the physics and, and so on. So with a proper simulator handling, if you like, and lots of cars on track, would be very, very good. A damage model, I can't figure out. Uh, Sometimes this seems like there is one, and then sometimes this seems like there isn't. I think it may be partly to do with how I crash. I mean, if you sort of just tumble around, these things are incredibly strong. I mean, anybody who's seen is it the Lucas Oil off-road series, the stadium trucks, them things will tumble around and get back going again absolutely fine. And if you sort of land it right, you won't really do much damage to one. Um, I think I've seen the, the bodywork crumple up. I... I don't know. Ooh, no, 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 no. We were going so well. We were doing so well up until uh, up until that point. Whoop. Uh, and I'm not going to go plant it in a wall now. I'm actually trying to do a time trial. Oh, so much, so much fighting goes on with this, trying to keep the vehicle under control. But it, it's fun. It's it's a challenge, even with just lapping around on your own. Ooh, that was a big a big hit on the floor there. Yeah, even just lapping around on your own. It's a challenge. It's something that something different. And of course, with we racing games, well, there's pretty much pretty much every racing, every category, and so on has had a game at some point somewhere. It's uh, always nice to find uh, find a slightly a slightly different challenge. How are we doing? We've got three more laps to go. As I'm kind of chucking it round a little bit. Third gear seems like a quite a good gear for this. So just leave it. Leave it in third and everything seems to be working pretty well. This is where we're having all the problems. It's that bump on the inside. Yeah, we'll put it back down into second there. Yeah, got to be careful. Got to be careful of the bumps. You've got to learn where the bumps are. That was a new fastest lap. I've taken all of the boardings with me. I'm not sure... I'm not sure how the game detects if you're cutting a corner somewhere. I assume there, there is somewhere some sort of uh, invisible checkpoint system, if you like, going around so that uh, I don't suddenly decide, right, I'm going to... Uh, to cut this turn here. Uh, what was it? I don't even know what my fastest time my fastest time over. I think it's 400 and something seconds. Come on, buggy, we can we can do this. I think we can be quite tight there. Yeah, that seems okay. Maybe just about ish. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever had to move the steering wheel so much to try and get around a 50 second lap. And I like I like the challenge. I like the challenge of uh, there's, there's certainly not a second to rest. I mean, dirt rally is a uh, is a game where you you get maybe maybe at the Monte Carlo rally you get the occasional straight you really don't have have time to rest and this is a a very a very similar thing oh look at that for consistency between uh, <laughs> between them laps oh 
We've slightly taken something. I think we were taking one of the, the markers with us. Ooh, no. <laughs> Just land straight on our face. These are tough buggers, these things are. They really are very, uh, very, very strong. Another thing, another cool sort of little, little detail as we get very sideways across a jump. You will see as I'm going around here, the vehicle will gradually get muddier and muddier. And, uh, ooh, we got a little bit wide. This is not quite going to be such a good lap, I don't think. Hey. More bumps. I don't think I want to be so tight on the inside of that corner. Yeah, we, we avoided it. We're fine. Yeah, the vehicle does get uh, gradually muddier and muddier Ooh. Uh, as as you go. And um, yeah, I, I I kind of like just the the little the little details that uh, it's got going on. You can wash the truck in between races uh, and so on. That was a poor lap. Poor lap that one. As in 56s. Come on. How many more have we got to go? Two more. Uh, I've got to keep concentration. Ugh, not spin. Uh, this is by far the best. Normally what happens when I'm recording something is I'll go and practice on a game briefly, just make sure it all runs and then kind of get get a feel for it, get the hang of it slightly. And then the minute I go to go and, and drive for the recording, I drive like crap. Uh, this time I'm actually doing better in the recording than I was doing in practice. We're going... Actually, I think quite wide over there is also working. Whereas it's here, I didn't really want to go too tight because there are bumps there. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of exploring, finding, you know, your traditional racing line may well not work when there are ruts and bumps and, and so on to uh, to deal with. Like out here, definitely, I think. Wider line there, may even come back in tight a little too soon. And across the jump and finished. Whew. Uh, personal best, 417, my last run, 525. It must be another place I was thinking, 400. God, yeah, that was... Uh, it's, it's hard work doing six laps consistently around here. God, dear. Um, yeah, 53, 53.8 on the final lap. I wasn't too bad consistently, consistency-wise. There we go. I can speak. We will finish that, and then it goes and comes up. Hey, 13th. <laughs> Admittedly, I was using... Oh, there. Never mind. <laughs> much better than I, but... Um, yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of people much better than I. Um, right, we will we will close it. That was the indoor indoor sort of arena area. Good fun place to uh, to drive around. Let's go back to the uh, go back to the garage. We'll get a different a uh, different vehicle out. I also love that you can drive around in the garage. Okay, I always love games that you drive around in places that you shouldn't really. Admittedly, there is no sort of collisions at the moment between obstacles and, and objects in here. I think apart from the oh oh dear no forward truck forward truck. We've had a small issue. I've got it stuck. <laughs> why, why, why are we no go? There we go. We've got to go. <laughs> We've got to go. Let's stall the engine. No, uh, it, it's unhappy. Are we going to? No, I, I don't know. I've, bro I've broken the truck completely and utterly knackered it. I think the the red toolbox at the background is the only solid object at the moment. But yeah, it's it, it's in development. It's uh, it's not perfect, but you can you can wander around here. We will go to a different track. Shall we go? Um, actually, we'll go. We'll show off this. Um, this is the sort of more explorey area -y sort of place here. Uh, now this gives me. Uh, we'll go for uh, we'll go for one of these trucks. Sure, this gives me more thoughts of where this game sort of could be heading, as well as the arena. Oh, I love the liveries as well. <laughs> we've got uh, we've got sort of your normal your normal stadium truck one, and then you have Red Bull sponsor everything. So there, there's bound to be. I'm fair. There must be a Red Bull stadium truck, but uh, <laughs> they got red snail. Uh, yeah, we'll go we'll go with that one. Uh, we'll go yeah go drive. Uh, this is kind of a, a much more open area, whereas the other ones are all sort of closed circuit racing. This one here is is a much more uh, sort of there's a start point and an end point and how you get there is kind of up to you if we bring up the little uh, GPS button over there we have like a little a little track it if I click that can we move it there we go and we can move it around and put it wherever wherever we want so if we want to have it down there and we can control it as well from here we can <laughs> we can move around again just, just little details and this kind of makes me think that we could see game modes rather than just a simple you know drive around a circuit we could well have a, we could well have a no turning at all and completely fluff that up. We could well have like here is a start checkpoint, here is an end checkpoint. Find how to get across it the quickest way. Sort of a bit like Dakar, but like the Dakar Rally and so on. I've not seen any games do that really, uh, which which would be very good fun. As I said, this level we get some odd, uh, <laughs> some slightly odd lighting textual stuff uh, is uh, is going on. But yeah, we start at. Uh, 
at this checkpoint here and then we have there are many routes as you can see just, just from here you can take all sorts of all sorts of uh, different routes now this thing is a uh, quite powerful and quite prone to uh, spinning out and me pointing backwards. I'll see if I can get to the uh, the other checkpoint at the other side of the map, possibly if I don't get lost along the way or have a big accident. I'm hoping we won't go for for a big accident, but, uh, but you never know. And um, yeah, I, I basically just see lots and lots of potential in this game. They've got the handling bit down first. They've got good... We <laughs> I told you I was going to point backwards. They've got um, the handling bit down first, which is always very, very important in a, a driving game. The, the vehicles are, are fun to drive, they're uh, challenging, they make you think. Certainly with the circuits, it makes you think, how, how are you going to deal with the bumps and so on? Oh dear! Oh crap! Hey! We are... Oh, we haven't quite rolled. It's fine. Uh, oh yeah, water texture's not there yet, but you know. Uh, it's just sort of the abyss. We're going to drive through the void, quickly get out the other side again. Uh, I've got a completely lost train of thought after nearly roll. We haven't actually rolled a vehicle yet. God dear. It is very, very possible. I'm surprised I've got this far um, without rolling a vehicle. Oh dear, we're, we're falling off. We're falling off course quite poorly. Uh, well, I mean, we, we, we cut the corners uh, a little bit. Is um, Oh, that was a much quicker way over here. The way I've gone before was... a. Uh, I've got a much more roundabout route to getting over to getting over there. I don't know where this goes. I've not driven down this particular particular road, this particular part of part of the map. Whoop. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's certainly there, there are bits that, that still need plenty of work on, as the mountains wibble and wobble and shake around. In, where are we going? Actually, oh, let's keep control, keep control off the truck. Um, Oh, he spun, <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> it's just sudden pointing backwards. Um, can we can we turn the tool? Or uh, fine, you know what? We'll just do this. I can't say. We'll just guess, shall we? Oh, we've crashed through some trees. Now we're climbing a mountain. Uh, I have a sneak suspicion. We're going in the wrong direction. Where does this path? This is the really. I haven't seen this path before. This is a really tight, narrow path. Um, oh, other issues. The handbrake doesn't work. There's a, a, a. You can configure a button for a handbrake. Whatever I seem to do, it doesn't make it work. We could, and that's for some of the faster vehicles. Like, or, or shall we say, with some of these vehicles, certainly these stadium trucks st struggle with their turning circle. A handbrake would be kind of useful. But yeah, that's. Uh, Little bit of a, a little bit of a shame, but I'm sure that'll be fixed. Uh, fixed fairly, fairly sharpish. As that's the, you know, that is kind of important. This is a very narrow. I mean, I could potentially see sort of even rock crawling-y style, style routes coming with uh, <laughs> turning circle. <laughs> turning circle is abysmal. Uh, where are we going? Um, sure, we're going through. Uh, this is a very, a very narrow. I could have done with the cart probably for this bit. This bit might have. Uh, benefited from a sport. The GPS has just given up. It's like, bugger it, I don't know where you are. You're completely lost. I'm going to be of no use whatsoever to you. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to... I don't, uh, the GPS has got utterly befuddled by where I'm going. I am... Ooh, I found a bridge! Yeah, I have no idea where I am... Uh, <laughs> where I'm going. Oh, what have we found over there? We've gone exploring. We've found a building. Oh, is there unlockables? <laughs> we've found... A couple of walls. Are you? Oh, you are solid walls. Um, yeah, the trees are solid and everything. Right, back you out of there. I was just testing. Uh, <laughs> no, oh god, where's the road gone? Um, it's around here somewhere. Turning circle. Turning, there we go. Found road again. Uh, ooh, that was a bit of a bump. Over here. Meh. In interesting course. Uh, quite hard to drive with any speed down here. Oh, come on. Turn, 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 turn. Ah. <laughs> Should have bought the cart. Should have bought the cart for uh, for this bit. And now I'm gonna spin the damn truck. <sighs> okay, you get the idea. There's there's areas you can just sort of go off and explore. And judging by the look of the oh look, the GPS has caught up with itself now. Um, zoom out. Judging by the look of this, it goes up further. It's got computer. It's broken. It's terrible. Uh, <laughs> look like the road goes on further. So there's whole great big areas you can explore and uh, and go for uh, go for a drive around. I will uh, show one more one more track off at the moment. Uh, I think there there's only as I said there's only there's only six of them. There are some more being some more being worked on. We shall go to this track's quite good fun actually, and we shall change it to nighttime. Yes, you can go do some uh, night racing with your vehicles. Uh, which, uh, I, I kind of, I'm kind of just like driving this thing. 
these they don't quite have good enough turning circles for for as much fun and well we've driven rally cars before i kind of just these just good fun good fun silly vehicles to uh, to throw around right we will have a final look with it um with it all at night yeah i i see lots of potential in this game we could do with some headlights don't need to worry about uh, <laughs> the gps and certainly with a, a bunch of these vehicles on track you could have a hell of a lot of fun i think with with a with a large group of these racing around it would be chaos and it would be the good sort of chaos with these ridiculous off-road vehicles uh, and now of course everything becomes much more difficult when you can't see a thing and the trees sort of looming out of the distance <laughs> we've kind of got spooky trees that suddenly they're there uh, we have magic trees um oh, yeah the, the tr okay admittedly the, the tree pop in again it's 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 still a game in development i'm sure i'm the type that it's finished there, oh, there we go another another magically appearing tree it, it only does that at night in fact, i haven't yeah i haven't seen it do it normal 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 racing um yeah i i, I quite just enjoyed the challenge of driving these vehicles at the moment and throw in a bunch more and throw in some multiplayer and so on and you could have an awful lot of silly, silly fun with these, and with such, with such sort of decent steering, realistic -y physics going on. At least it, it feels that way. Again, when we talk about realistic physics, I don't really know. Uh, don't know what I'm talking about. And hey, we've had a roll. It's a proper fair race video now. Uh, I don't really know what I'm talking about in terms of I've never driven these vehicles, but it kind of feels as I would expect. And of course, you've got all the worry about bumps. And when you're off road racing, the bumps and so on are, are quite significant, quite important to we. <laughs> uh, I love the way that this thing flies with its nose down. But um, yeah, I, I, I recommend supporting this game. It is a tad expensive for, for what you get at the moment. As I said, it's 14 odd pounds for a, a handful of tracks and a handful of cars. Well, not, not quite even that. Um, but there's still there's still fun there's still fun to be had. And yeah, I, I would definitely uh, recommend supporting this game because I I can see lots of lots of excellent silliness uh, in the future with something like this. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. We shall go exploring into the forest. We've hit a tree. It's not gone well. I was I was hoping to take the jump. I don't think I really had enough run up. We were going to go for a proper roll. I've done remarkably well at not rolling cars in this video. There we go. <laughs> and landed it. Fantastic. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And until next time, uh, goodbye. <laughs>